Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, Wednesday, March 20th. And uh, not a lot in the economic news, at least scheduled for today. Just the uh, the Fed meeting we had, their meeting yesterday, and they'll be giving their announcement today at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and then Bernanke will give his uh, speech later on uh, in the, as well afterwards. So this is what the market's kind of waiting for. There shouldn't be any surprises in there, but there might might be maybe some tweaks in there, and that's what the uh, Fed's kind of uh, what the investors are going to be waiting for. Wall Street's going to be waiting for. So currently, the um, the stock market's up so far this morning, uh, anticipating you know obviously some good news. Uh, what they're looking for primarily is uh, is the is there any news in the regards to quantitative easing? Are they gonna do they anticipate the quantitative easing to be phased out this year? Is it gonna look like it's gonna be extended past this year? Uh, that's what they're kind of watching and waiting for. Is any type of news regards to quantitative easing? Uh, because obviously they like that money being pumped in the economy, which is what's helped rising the, uh, which is what's helping the uh, stock market. Uh, also, um, the ECB, the European Central Bank, is uh, providing liquidity to Cyprus. So until they get to a resolution, this is going to kind of prolong a little bit and help them kind of maintain themselves a little bit uh, to kind of ease things out as you know they're still trying to develop some type of solution as to what they're going to do. Uh, there's been meetings between them and Russia uh, as to some type of situation, uh, as to some type of maybe possible solution with this, uh, as Russia's been... Uh, you know, as we all, if you've been following, been uh, will be adversely affected. Uh, all that, uh, what they need to try to come up with approximately for that bailout of, of the 10 billion euros is they need to come up with approximately 5.9 billion, and that's going to be obviously tough to do. It could be maybe some sales, could be you know, but the the problem that yesterday had went ahead and uh, declined uh, taxing the uh, depositors, uh, which would kind of maybe set a bad precedence out there. So and kind of ruin them as possible a financial um, area as well. So obviously they want to keep uh, people coming in with their deposits. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what the bond market is currently doing this morning. Uh, we started off about 15 basis points lower than where we left off yesterday. We did touch the ceiling uh, and pulled back a bit and started the morning off lower. We even were trying to lower touching the, uh, the floor. So this could be an important day as to what happens. Um, we could see rates going up. So right now rates are probably, the pricing is slightly higher today uh, only because it started lower and then you'll probably see maybe either run or maybe you can get worse than after the Fed announcement later today. So Mike, if you're floating out there with your interest rates, I would probably be cautious and a little lock in uh, as the stock market could take a lot more of that money and we could see um, the bond market coming down a bit more because it looks like uh, the situation where we're at where you tested the upper levels and, and even started the day lower and this could really kind of hurt us um, in the near term. Uh, long term, yeah, I mean at some point we're going to rates will improve a little bit but in the short term here, uh, we want to be cautious and protect what, what where you're at right now. And this could be, you know, we could have another run down lower. As if you look at longer term, the trend downwards, we're touching the upper hand and we have room more. We don't have room upwards, but basically downwards. So what that means is uh, be cautious. And basically, if you are floating your interest rates, go ahead and lock in. Right now would be a good time to lock in. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll touch base with what the Fed uh, spoke uh, later today uh, on tomorrow's report. Have a great day.